Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm here to review Batman vs Superman The Ultimate Edition. Batman vs Superman The Ultimate Edition. Good film. You know, I, I decided to watch it as you know. My previous video I mentioned that I was going to watch the DC films that led up to the Justice League. Or the Snyder Cut Justice League I should say. So this is the next film. Next film is now Batman vs Superman. Decided to go with the Ultimate Edition instead of the other one just because of the extra content that we get for the 30 minutes. And does the film still hold up? Me personally, yeah, I think it still holds. It's still a good film. It, I feel it came a little bit early, but the film is still good. Seeing Batman vs Superman fighting against each other, the reason is kind of not really there properly on why they're deciding to fight each other. I know what Superman had done in the previous film and the repercussions of that is the reason why obviously Batman wanted to, I guess, get vengeance on him, but it wasn't a really, really big reason of why they should fight each other and now be bitter enemies. Uh, it, it was very misdirected between the two. More for Lex being the orchestrator of the whole thing, but still holds today if you if if it came out today it'd be a nice little film to set up what obviously comes next which we know is the justice league but it's it it has its good points and has its bad points like i said earlier the good things are you know seeing batman versus superman fighting against each other seeing the wheels against each other but always the worst bit of the whole film and everybody's made joke about it is the whole martha line and them being connected because of this Martha name that their mother both have got. So, therefore, I shouldn't kill you anymore. Uh, no. That's a stupid reason. You know, and then when we get Justice League and we're like, oh, yeah, he's sorry about his death and so on and so forth. Like, because of the whole Martha thing. Like, no. Like, nah. That reason was silly. But... As a film as a whole and the things that were in it and we saw Superman really being that detective and Batman really being Batman, very good. Like, I enjoyed that side of things. You know, seeing elements of that Batman fighting felt like the game, you know, uh, like Arkham Asylum games and stuff like that, really good. But we didn't really get, oh yeah, I hate you and I hate you and this is the reason, like, no. They just fought each other because. And then when he died, it's like, oh yeah, I've got to get people together. Because I found out that, you know, there's other metahumans that are out there. So, it's 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 just the reason, it's just the why. The why was not really there. But the lead up to the next film was there. You know, so, yeah. That, that, those are my thoughts and feelings about what, and if it stands for today, and it, I think it definitely does, 100%, I really do think it still holds up. And this was the bridge before we get the Justice League. So, um, yeah, um, let me know, comment down below, guys, if you thought that this film still holds up, if you've even watched it again, because of the whole build-up to the Zack Snyder cut of the Justice League. And, um, yeah, I guess this is out, not next week, but... In um, the following week after that, so uh, yeah, Zack Snyder cut. Here we come, but uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Later.